How to embed your Canva newsletter design to your Gmail email. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. I will show you step by step how we can achieve this and have this. Even if you have links to, uh, in your uh, newsletter, for example, you have some sort of sign up buttons and all of those things. We can also have them in our Gmail, but not exactly the same way that you think. So let's just go ahead and show you how to do this. First, you would want to obviously design your newsletter. You can just go ahead and open up your canva.com and you can just go ahead and search for newsletter. From here, you would have a lot of options to choose from. Find one that suits you best and we can just start customizing it. Okay, so I've just found this one. It does have three pages, which could work. Uh, but we only need to download one and then it's just going to show them the rest of the pages. So even if you have multiple pages, it's going to work. Don't worry about it. Um, but now you would want to obviously just get this uh, newsletter and start, you know, changing whatever you want here. You can just go in uh, and add the test text in here. Uh, and just go ahead and change it to your liking. And not only this, but for example, here we have read more, read more. Uh, which could be clickable and let's just go ahead and actually make them clickable this way we can actually test this out um, but like I said it's not going to work the way you want it to work because in Gmail uh, it's not going to be exactly where you want to click anyways I'm just going to actually show you how it's going to work I'm going to rename this to click here to read more I'm just going to copy this to here as well there you go and now let's just go ahead and make them actually clickable so we can just go ahead and highlight them and then we want to go to the link option here on the top click on that and then we can just go ahead and go for a url here let's just link it to google.com great and once that's done we can just go ahead and click on done and it should be underlined now, which you can also feel free to remove if you don't like the underline. It's completely up to you. I'm just going to keep it. And this here, again, we want to do exactly the same thing. Highlight them, um, the text, and then just go ahead and click on link uh, and just link it to the page that you want it to be. So we can just, again, go for google.com and click on done. So let's also remove the underline from this just to show you how to do so. You can just go in and highlight, highlight the text again and click on the underline option okay so now we are pretty much done obviously i'm not going to edit this entire section i just wanted to make at least two clickable things here uh, or links so next we want to just go ahead and click on share on the top right and we want to click on download select png and then we want to basically select only the first page or the page that we actually want to uh have people view first so i'm just going to download the first one you can download the second one or the third one just make sure it's only one page and then you would want to just click on download meanwhile as it is actually downloading we want to click on share once more and create a public view link so just go ahead and click on share public view link and then from here we just want to cl uh, click on create public view link copy it and we are pretty much set we can we can just go in and open up our gmail now so in gmail we want what we want to do is just compose a new email we want to send it to whoever we want it to be so i'm just going to leave it empty for the time being and then we, w we basically want to insert photo and then just go ahead and upload the photo that we just downloaded which is only one page it's this one right here for me And once it actually loads in, it's going to be uh, in our Gmail here. Just give it a sec. And once it actually loads into your email here, you want to just go ahead and click on it. Make sure it is highlighted. You can also make it bigger or smaller. It's completely up to you. And we can just go ahead and click on it and click on insert link. And in here, you want to basically uh, insert the um, link to your uh the, the public share link basically so just go ahead and make sure you copy the link here uh and we want to paste paste that to our uh photo so now that we copied the link again just go ahead and highlight the image itself and then you can just go to insert link at the bottom 
and it should say text to display the name of the actual image and then here you'd want to just paste in the um, link and just go in and click on OK. And now basically whenever someone tries to click here to read more it's just going to take them to here and then they will be able to basically uh, see the entire thing not only page one but they will be able to see page two page three and anything that is clickable is going to be uh, accessible to them basically so this is the method that we can actually use um, to work our, our way around the, the fact that we can't really embed it uh, properly but this is pretty much it for this video hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching